Hello everyone, Rightstop911 here, and today we're going to talk about how and where to check your Farming Simulator 2017 game log. So, what is your game log and where do you find it? Well, basically your game log is, well, just that, a log that your game keeps to tell you what's going on with the game, and often it'll list any errors if there's any to tell you what problems any of your mods have so you can fix them. So now that we know what the log is, where do we find it? Well, if you go to your documents and then you'll find a folder called My Games and you click on that, then you can go to Farming Simulator 2017 then log.txt or text document. Then you can open that and basically what it will do is it will show you any problems with your mods like this warning missing 10n for button and more warnings and perhaps even some lua call stacks or something like that and basically what these will do is tell you what's wrong with the mod and basically point you in what direction you have to go to fix it so if you ever have a problem with a mod, it's crashing, it's just not working properly, something's not right, well, then go to your game log and check it, and perhaps they'll tell you something that will be able to help you to fix that mod. So yeah, if you see an error and you don't know what it's about, then just try googling it, and perhaps you can find out something about it so that you can fix it properly. So like air count load resource, you can just paste that into Google with maybe farming simulator 17 or something like that keyword. And well, you can find out how, the, how other people have fixed this error and perhaps that'll help you to fix the error as well. One more fun little fact is that anything that shows up in the game log will also show up in the developer console in game. So if you don't know what the developer console is or how to enable that or use it, well, I have another video on that that you can check out in the description below. So go ahead and do that, like, if you want to, no pressure. So we know what the log is, we know where it is, but how do you know which errors go to what mod? Well, likely if you see an error or a warning, well, most of the time, it will say, like, can't load resource and then give you a file path. Well, here we see at the end it says load trail converted. So, that is basically the name of the mod. So, if you look in your mod folder, you should see a mod by that name, or pretty close to it. And you'll see other things like blazer police don't load all these station wagon. And you'll see that they're in the mod folder, so it gives you some file paths sometimes, so that can help you find it. Other errors like Lua errors, sometimes they're a bit generic, usually they happen after you buy a specific vehicle, so you can just see what was the last purchased vehicle, and likely the Lua error belongs to that one, like this here. And can't load resource or can't load sample, also it says there's station wagon, so that would belong to this. And if you look for any other error, basically missing 10 for button in Sprinter Narcel converted. So basically, you'll see there that there is a mod called that. So if you want to know what mod the error is referring to, usually it will tell you. If it does not, then you can always separate the mod into a separate safe game loading just that mod and use that to see if it has problems. So yeah, that's how you check your log, where it is, and how it can help you. So definitely use this log as a tool for your modding. Very helpful, because you can't fix something if you don't know what's wrong. So yeah, that's pretty much all I need to say on that. It's pretty straightforward. So yeah, thank you very much for watching, and subscribe and like for more awesome tutorials. Bye.